Hi, beautiful. Revlon just released a brand new version of their one step hair dryer and volumizer, and I'm excited about it. Because if you saw my last video about this product, the older version of it, you would know that I am a fan of it. Is it the all time greatest, best thing in the entire world? No. Is it very affordable and does the job pretty well? Hell yeah. Here she is. I have her in the studio with me. This is the one step volumizer plus. Apparently means it's better than the last one. I don't know, we'll find out. I will be testing her today on different hair textures as well as just going through everything on if you should buy it or not and what is good about it, what is bad about it and just really everything. You know how this goes. And then also later I'll be comparing it to its older stepsister, the one that doesn't have the plus at the end and seeing which one is better. So let's do it. I have to say my first impression is this bow is so cute. Now let me rip it off. Okay, thank you. Um, so here we are. It says 75% shinier salon blowouts in up to half the time. I don't know what that means or how you measure that, but um, there's an asterisk on it. It says compared versus drying and styling separately based on lab testing. That actually makes a lot of sense because it just takes half the time if you're not using like a curling iron and a blow dryer. I guess that's what they're saying. 50% less heat damage comparing to, there's stars next to it, based on lab testing. The does that mean? What are we testing? Okay, moving on. I was actually just gonna open the box, but I'll show you. Okay, great. I'm gonna open it now. I feel like some people like the opening process, so I wanted to show you. So here it is. It is obviously much smaller than the previous version. It feels nicer. I like things that are smaller for hair. I just feel like you get a better grip on the head. You can get that root better. And like, I can actually wrap my hand around this. I don't know if the other one's like actually larger, but it feels good. And I like the fact that you can take this head off and like pack it away like this. I like the color scheme. I like the matte handle so that my hand doesn't slip. Oh, we also now have cool, low, medium, and high. I believe the only the other one only had like three options. So I guess they just added another option. Okay. <laughs> the website also claims to give you 75% shinier blowouts in one step. I love a good claim. And if you don't know about claims, you actually have to have a study done um, where people basically blind test your product or your appliance. And then the study comes back and these are the results. 75% is not the highest percentage, but it's not bad either, but it's good. It's fine. I don't know what they're comparing it to. I didn't see an asterisk on that one, but 75% shinier. So we're gonna, we'll, let's take that how it, how it is. It also claims to have 50% less heat exposure. I don't know what they're comparing these things to. Cause even when it says what they're comparing it to, it still doesn't make sense. So take that how it is. I guess that's good. I mean, 50% less than anything, I guess is good. Not really though. Cause they could be literally putting a torch on the hair and being like, it's 50% better than putting a torch in your hair. Like, okay, thanks Revlon. We have these plastic bristles on here. I I believe from my research, this part is titanium, which is a new feature. So titanium is great for the hair and smooths out the hair amazingly. Oh, this is actually a lot thinner. This is 1.4 inches in diameter. I also always love this little hole here. It's just satisfying to put your finger in while you're blow drying. Like, I don't know, I like it a lot. And a little filter on the bottom, a cord. Oh, you know what I actually don't like about Revlon products? This is not long enough. I mean, I guess it is if you're just blow drying your hair in your bathroom or something, but like, it's my arm span. Give me more cord, please. Like, let's not be stingy. Also, this swivels, which is great. I love a good swivel because I hate when cords get wrapped up. I don't like it and I don't want it. So, you guys came to see me try this out, I'm sure. So let's try it. I have two clients here today. Are they here? They're here. Send them in. They're here. So I'm gonna invite them in and um, get them prepped and we're gonna do a little hair. We have Miss Manny Quinn one with our straight hair. You guys haven't seen her before. She's looking fabulous. And then we have our more frizzy, wavy, coily hair. We will be testing this instrument on both of these women and seeing how they perform. When we try it on this girl over here, we're gonna be able to see if it gives you a lot of bounce at the root, if it gives you a lot of bevel at the ends, and just seeing if it gives you all around volume. This girl over here, we're gonna see if it smooths her hair out and just how smooth it makes it and how shiny it becomes. I'm gonna do half of their head so you can see the comparison on the other sides and let's do it. What I would do with hair of this texture, I would probably put it on medium. She does not need high heat. We're gonna see if we can use a lower temperature and still get great results. Just to let you guys know, I just tried low, medium, high. They all feel relatively the same. I'm not gonna lie. Um, hot is piping hot. Let's definitely only use that for like coily hair um, and really stubborn frizzy hair. So I'm just gonna dampen her hair really quick before I start. Please use a clip and section your hair when you're blow drying. It makes things so much easier.
Okay, first impression, it's good. Like, I like it. I like that it's really giving me a lot of bounce so far. I feel like I was able to get a really good grip on the hair and really like turn this thing into the scalp to get really nice body on the hair. So let's keep going. I should also mention that I'm spraying Force Field in and that is the only product that I'm using on her hair. Um, I don't want to affect the results, but I also want to protect her hair. And this protects your hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, as well as speeds up the drying process by a lot. So let's spray that in. It only takes a couple of squirts. A little goes a long way with that stuff. And let's finish this off. Well, I finished her blow dry, and as you can see, I haven't really touched it yet, but we are already getting beautiful movement in her hair. Now let me just run my hands through and break it up a little bit. And oh my God, I'm gonna be honest, my guilty pleasure on TikTok is watching people with like really long wavy hair blow out their hair with these Revlon blow dryer things. Her hair looks great. I think we can both tell it looks phenomenal. I put very little effort into this and it looks amazing. Um, This is why I'm a fan of these blow dryer brushes. Just makes things so much easier. Look at that like twist we have on the hair. That body, that movement, that shape. That is because this is a perfect size for a hair that is this length or shorter or honestly longer if you want like a lot of curl in your hair. I think it worked really well. I think it definitely got hot. It definitely burned my hands a little bit. Is it the safest for your hair? I don't think so. Is it nice though? Yeah. My next client is here though and we're gonna try it on the wavy. Hair. Hello, Miss Manny Quinn. Let's try it on you, shall we? So we're gonna do the same exact process. I'm just gonna wet her hair down on this one side. And we're gonna see how easy it is to blow out this wavy, frizzy hair. And with this hair, I'm gonna make sure I take smaller sections than before. And we're spraying our force field on there, of course. And let's bring our first spin. I'm gonna use it on high heat today. Now, normally I would put a lot of products in hair like this because wavy and curly hair tend to really soak up that moisture and we need a lot of it in this hair texture. Today, we're not using any, so I can really show you guys what happens when you use just the blow dryer alone and it's not affected by anything else. And that's it, I am finished. And let me tell you, that was really easy. Obviously her hair looks a little crazy because she has so much volume, but it is a volumizing brush. That is what it's made for. Does her hair feel great? No, but did it feel great to start? No. Is there really any product in it besides the heat protectant? No. I am not really like judging it based on that, but it's quite shiny and it's definitely um, straight. It didn't take much work. So in my book, that was a success. I mean, look where we came from and look where we ended up. I'm impressed and thank you for being here today. Now, before we compare her to her, her older stepsister, let's talk about my findings with the new one. I dig it. This isn't gonna be the best thing for your hair, but it's definitely going to work. Definitely wanna make sure you're using the right products, a heat protectant, an oil, a leave-in conditioner, a cream, all of it and any of it. Just put it in your hair. I do not wanna see you frying your hair off with this thing. It's definitely intense, but I do enjoy it. I think it did a great job of smoothing. It was very fast and efficient. Love the bristles, they give you a good amount of grip and I really enjoy it. As well as the heat settings, I didn't see much of a difference with them, but at least they're there. I don't know. I don't really have much to say about that part, but I do think it is a great tool. And at Target, this costs $69.99, a decent price. I wouldn't say it's like phenomenal, but I wouldn't say it's bad either. It's pretty much just like a good price. So $70 and you get a blow dryer and a brush all in one. And it honestly does make your life a lot easier, so. I would say this is worth it and I do like the plus version of the volumizer and blow dryer thing. The name is complicated, okay? Listen. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. I don't know if anybody cares, but we are going to compare it to the old version. Except at the same time on Amazon, it kind of lists this as like just a different size as well as like sort of a different version also. The whole marketing is confusing. This one's a lot smaller and this one's a lot bigger. And this one's also a lot taller. They're kind of very 
very similar feeling. Obviously, you're gonna get more straightening benefits with this one and more curling with this one because this one is smaller and this one's larger. You get it? And it has more of that flat surface, whereas this one has more just a little bit of a flat surface and then it is an oval. This claims to have a 40% longer lasting battery. It's not cordless. They mean battery by like the length it lives on for. I don't know. They're not making sense. On Revlon's website, which I couldn't even find the old one, it has built in genuine ion generator, which is new for them. It's so confusing. This one said genuine ion and this one just said ion. Who the hell knows the difference? Because I don't. Also on Target, this one is $55. And again, this one is $69.99. So you're saving like $15 if you buy the old one versus the new one. And the biggest difference that I could find are two things. The heat settings, which honestly, now that I think about it, is not that big of a difference because they both get hot and they both just feel really hot. But the other biggest difference is that this one is ceramic, which is a cheaper material than titanium, which this one is. Uh, titanium is really great for smoothing out hair and giving you that beautiful shine. And ceramic is more of an affordable material and doesn't give you as much shine. I prefer titanium plates over ceramic any day. So that is a huge plus. So now that we already have one side of these girls' heads blow dry with this baby, let's try it with this one and see if I find any difference. Okay, on to the wavy hair. I have to say, so far my findings have been very interesting and I'm excited to share with you. Okay, I have completed the task. I have blow dried the other side of the head with the original volumizer blow dryer. This is the side that I just blow dried and this is the other blow dryer, the newer one. They look exactly the same. I liked the old one better for this purpose. I think it was much easier to blow dry the longer hair with the larger brush. It took like half the time and all around it felt very, very, very similar, if not the exact same as the other plus version of this. But they actually do, on Amazon it actually says, if you have longer hair, use this one. So I agree with that. I think the original is great for longer hair. I think having the larger brush is just so beneficial. And now we have our coily hair. As you can see, there's not much of a difference going on here. But when I was blow drying, I felt like I could get a better grip on the hair with the smaller brush. With hair like this, I probably would have used a smaller brush. Like I wouldn't use a gigantic 4.2 inch round brush to do hair like this. So I definitely like the smaller one better and I feel like it just smoothed her hair out a little bit better. They're both very comparable though, and I don't know if I would be like gravitating heavily towards one or the other. It was a very similar process overall. Would I recommend you buy the new one-step hair dryer and volumizer or the old one for $15 less and it's a little bit bigger? Honestly, I think they're both good. I think for this price range, this is a good product. Is it the most amazing, astonishing, state-of-the-art piece of hair care technology? No. I would love to compare one of these to the Dyson Airwrap as well. So I definitely think the Airwrap would probably outperform these, but for the price range, if you're balling on a budget, these definitely do the trick. And you can honestly go with either one. I'm not seeing a huge difference or a huge benefit to either. They're both very hot, do pretty much the same thing. One's smaller than the other, and one's a little more expensive. I would probably go with this one, the smaller one, just because I like newer technology and I feel like I get more grip on the hair. I like more body and weight for my blowouts and I like titanium plates. So that is my choice. It would be the new one, the old one is just fine. Whew, girl, that was a lot of work. I'm sweating. I hope I could help you make a decision between the two or if you should just even buy the new one or not. It was fun. It was legit. I'm ready to um, take a shower because... <laughs> Sweating. If you guys would like to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, please do so. We just dropped a new product called Super Gloss, which is an intensive at-home glossing product. It will literally bring your hair from dull to shiny as in 20 minutes. Oh, and much healthier. It's incredible. Check it out. There's more information below. Um, you can also head to xmondohair.com to check out all the other products we have. Here are all my social media handles. This is mine and this is xmondos. Check it out for hair and spell and just cool stuff about my life. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.